I'm Edward Thomas, Rector of St. Francis by the Sea, and want to say the most important thing first, and that is that we really miss you, and it's been too long since we've been able to see each other, and those of us who are gathered in here are all really aware of that and look forward to the time when we will get, be able to get together more often, and I actually have an announcement about that that I will make later on in the service. So we're delighted to be able to have a little bit more opportunity to be together. We have Nina together uh, here today to to watch these going on and to and to just remind us how good it is when people that we know and love are back in the community once again. So we hope you will enjoy this and find it an opportunity for you to, to feel closer to each other and to God. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. the one holy and living God. Glory, Glory to, to God, God forever, forever and, and ever. Together, almighty God, on, on this day, day all, all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worldly magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Oh God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A Litany for Forgiveness, written by William Rabier. For the times I lacked compassion and concern for others. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For my failure to pray and take time to talk to you. Forgive, Forgive me, me, Lord. For not sharing my resources, my time, talent, and treasure. Forgive, Forgive me, me, Lord. For holding grudges and refusing to have a forgiving heart. Forgive, Forgive me, me, Lord. For the times I have criticized and gossiped. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For not caring for myself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For the ways I misused nature and damaged the environment. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For my prejudices, biases, and deliberate acts of discrimination. Forgive, Forgive me, me, Lord. For the misuse and abuse of the wonderful gift of sexuality. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For failing to see your face in the homeless and the helpless. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. Lord. For believing I could save myself. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. Lord. For not living fully for you. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. Lord. For my lack of faith, hope, and love. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. For doubting that you can and will forgive me unconditionally. Forgive, Forgive me, Lord. Lord. For doubting that you love me with an everlasting love. Forgive, Forgive me, me, Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from Exodus. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel. And so the cloud was there with the darkness and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back, drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in a pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the, army, the Egyptian army into a panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers and the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. 
Israel saw the great work of the Lord that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. We'll read Psalm 114 with the congregation responding at the asterisk. Hallelujah. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains, that you skipped like rams. You little hills, like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flintstone into a flowing spring. The second reading is from Romans. Welcome those who are weak in faith, but not for the purpose of quarreling over opinions. Some believe in eating anything, while the weak only eat vegetables. Those who eat must not despise those who abstain, and those who abstain must not pass judgment on those who eat, for God has welcomed them. Who are you to pass judgment on servants of another? It is before their own Lord that they stand or fall. And they will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make them stand. Some judge one day to be better than another, while others judge all days to be alike. Let all be fully convinced in their own minds. Those who observe the day, observe it in honor of the Lord. Those who eat, eat in honor of the Lord, since they give thanks to God, while those who abstain, abstain in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. We do not live to ourselves, and we do not die to ourselves. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? Or you, why do you despise your brother or sister? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then, each of us will be accountable to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God.
the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times. Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him saying, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave? as I have had mercy on you. And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he should pay his entire debt. So my Heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. I have some good news that I would like to give to you before lodging into another tiny little homily. Now that we are in the later stages of stage two, it is possible for us to change our worship patterns a bit and for you to be here for some services. Starting next Wednesday, we will have a Celtic Eucharist at noon such as we had here for years and years and years. We can have up to 25 people at that Eucharist. Uh, and it will be held in this very room instead of in the chapel so that we can have a much larger uh, circle and can do appropriate distancing. But that will start on this coming Wednesday, next week, at noon. 
up to 25 people. Uh, and then on Sunday, beginning next Sunday, not this coming Sunday, we don't have time to prepare that quickly. We just learned about this today. On September the 20th, we will have a 10 o'clock service again in here with up to 25 people. You will need to register for that and you will be getting a detailed message about that. And of course, if we have more than 25 people who want to be here on a Sunday morning, I'll open up a second service and we'll be happy to do that. Uh, and a third thing is that we can, if we can have 25 people in here, we have 10 right now, which is the number that we can have for these recordings, but we could add another 15 if you wanted to come, uh, as Nina has done today, and just be on hand for this and be in here uh, and see the live oaks and the, and the distance and the crepe myrtles and, and hear this wonderful singing uh, in person. You would be able to do that as well. But we'll be getting that out as soon as we can. The gospel we had today is so powerful that I hardly know where to grab it. Of course, the biggest theme, I suppose, is realizing how important it is for every one of us to forgive. And if we don't do it, we just get blocked up and we stop our development right then and there. And Jesus taught us how to go about it. That would be one theme. Another theme is how do you respond to great generosity. When someone has done something really over the top to you, how can you possibly respond to that? Well, I've learned that over again this week when I got the call that a parish administrator that had been with me for 17 years while I was in Lincolnton had died. Nietzsche Subtle. Uh, I learned a few things from seminaries. But most of what I learned as a priest, I learned from Nietzsche. Who loved every person that ever walked in that church office. And let them know it and there was no doubt about it and they all became fast friends with her for life so when they called to say Nietzsche has died will you come and do a eulogy well I haven't been that back in 20 years but of course I'll go because love does that for you. It opens you up. It helps you to remember what's truly important. And I look forward to being able to, to go back this coming Sunday to give that eulogy. Being able to respond to great generosity with love is the only way that, that we can really do it. Like this, this faith of ours, Christianity, is at the same time very complex because it, it, it forces us to look at everything in life. It forces us to pick up every rock and look under it. It forces us to memorize every hymn that there is in the book because this is a faith that must be sung, not just said. All of that is hard to do. But the image of a child kneeling down beside of a bed saying nighttime prayers is uh, 
as simple and a gesture as there is and within that gesture is a completeness of the understanding of what Christianity really is all about. Learning how to to receive from God and to say thank you to God for what has been given. The man in the gospel for today received so much and then went right out and gave the opposite to everyone. And so the simple little lesson for us is if you know you have received everything from God see how you can express that to the people whom you are around now maybe the people listening to this service with you maybe people who you talk to on the telephone every day or walk with to express to them somehow the love and care that you have received from God through Christ our Lord Amen the last thing creed we believe in, in one God, God the Father of the Almighty maker of heaven, heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ the only Son of God eternally begotten of the Father God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. 
especially Mike Smith, Romaine Riddle, Kara Stutz, Jim Wolf, Marion Morris, Ann Grigg, Linda Davies, Carol Gaffney, Sarah Williams and family, Stacy Ward, Denise Throckmorton, Trish Randall, Betty Hart, Bette Price, Meg, <coughs> Gwen Loggins, Wendy Westmoreland, Blaine Thomas, Rick Gares, Scott and Jessica Ulmer, Gavin Ulmer, Scotty Ulmer, Robin Thomas, Renfro Sproul, Beverly Ingalls, Andre Dumond, Vera Cox, Chandler Stewart, Cameron Yop, Lisa Park and Family, Alan Murphy, Julia and Andy Burns, Jack Thompson, Peter Horton. Lord, in your mercy, hear our hear prayer. Our we commend to your mercy all who have died, especially Lily Blanchard, Nietzsche Settle, Chris Paik, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Peter's Church, Washington, with the Reverend Jim Reed Rector and the Reverend Deacon Catherine Mitchell. In the ecumenical cycle of prayer, we give thanks for South Banks Community Church, Moorhead City, and Spring Garden Missionary Baptist Church in Newport. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And praise, praise your, your name, name forever, forever and ever. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, we confess that, that we have sinned, sinned against, against you in thought, word, and deed, by, by what we have, have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we only repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. have noticed as I did that the prayer list was very long and 
which just breaks my heart that there are so many people who are having so much trouble. We, we spoke the names and now we just speak from our hearts how much we, we love you and pray for your recovery. The Lord be with you sin and death and to reveal the riches of your grace you looked with favor upon Mary your willing servant that she might conceive and bear a son Jesus the holy child of God living among us Jesus loved us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick, and proclaimed good news to the poor. He yearned to draw all 
the world to himself. Yet we were heedless of his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of life and to be glorified by you. On the night before he died for us, Jesus was at table with his friends. He took bread, gave thanks to you, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine. Again, he gave thanks to you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Now gathered at your table, O God of all creation, and remembering Christ, crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer to you our gifts of bread and wine, and ourselves a living sacrifice. Pour out your spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the body and blood of Christ. Breathe your spirit over the whole earth and make us your new creation. In the fullness of time, bring us with St. Francis, St. Clair, and all your saints from every tribe and language and people and nation to feast at the banquet prepared from the foundation of the world through Christ and with Christ and in Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. pray together. God, God of abundance, abundance. You, you have fed us with the bread of life. 
and the cup of salvation. salvation. You, you have reminded us with Christ and, and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the, in the power of your Spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world, to the world and, and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. wisdom of God, the love of God, and the grace of God strengthen you to be Christ's hands and heart in this world in the name of the Holy Trinity. And this final blessing from St. Clair. Live without fear. Your Creator has made you holy, has always protected you, and loves you as a mother. Go in peace to follow the good road, and may God's blessing be always with you. Amen. 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 forth into the world rejoicing in the power of God's spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.